Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. Today, Tesla released a video outlining their efforts in creating a homegrown ventilator machine. Now, before we go into the details of the same, a massive, massive thank you is due to all the folks in Tesla for doing this. Not just the folks in Tesla, to every other company out there and group out there helping in this time of utmost need. You guys are all heroes in our books. They showed a schematic of what their ventilator efforts have been thus far and there were a few things which struck to me as interesting and I wanted to highlight them. I took the liberty of faithfully recreating their schematic again so that it's much clearer to see. Right off the bat you can see that this is a version 6.3 of the schematic so they have not been sitting idle. Tesla team has been working really hard to bring this to life. The next thing that catches your eye is that there are a lot of red boxes in this schematic as opposed to blue. So the red boxes stand for Tesla's own components and the blue boxes stands for medical components. Now this I think is because of a tweet that went out to Elon a few weeks ago from one of the ventilator manufacturers asking Tesla to sparingly use medical components so that it would be available for them to create their own ventilators. Even in this video, Tesla engineers explained to us that they were happy to use Tesla parts because those were the parts they were most used to. Um, we're trying to make some ventilators out of some car parts so that we can help out the medical industry without taking away from their supply. The next thing you'll notice is Tesla has not taken any shortcuts. In this supply section of the schematic, you'll notice that the input can be hospital air supply. It's also called medical air, which is maintained at a pressure of about 345 to 380 kilopascals. But it can also take ambient air, which can be compressed and used to ventilate our patients. Of course, it can also use high pressure oxygen up to 620 kilopascals. A ventilator's most important purpose is to maintain homeostasis between two gas components, namely oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now oxygen goes into the patient and carbon dioxide ought to be removed from the lungs. So most ventilators would have both an inspiration component and an expiration component to send in and to remove gases from the lungs. There are different modes of ventilation. So ventilation can be based on volume, can be based on pressure, can be based on the number of breaths per minute, can be based on flow rate or based on the amount of oxygen that ought to be delivered to the patient. So here you can see that both the inhale flow rate and pressure as well as the exhale flow rate and pressure can be regulated. I am not going to go into more details about ventilation per se because I don't think this video can do justice to this complex topic. Now for more clips from Tesla's own video. We've been working on developing our own ventilator design, specifically one that's heavily based on Tesla car parts. We want to use parts that we know really well, we know the reliability of, and we can go really fast and they're available in volume. Um, what is a ventilator? A ventilator is a device that helps patients breathe who can't breathe well for themselves. And it does that by forcing air into their lungs with a pressure or a volume control, and then they exhale passively. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna walk you through the first prototype we've built. So this is the hospital grade supply. Uh, of air that is going into a mixing chamber, which is a uh, car part that we use in our uh, vehicles. This is where the oxygen and the air mixes together, and then it passes through a wall body, uh, which is used to uh, create the waveforms, the pressure and the volume waveforms. Uh, then the air coming out of this wall body goes to a bunch of sensors. So this is a flow rate sensor, this is a pressure sensor. Uh, it then goes through a filter and goes into the patient's lung and then carbon dioxide is put into that air and then goes through the exhale pipes and goes to a set of sensors uh, and then goes to the exhale valve which is used to throttle the pressure of the lungs and now i'm gonna put you over to ben who's gonna show you the packaged version of the same this system is powered by the model 3 infotainment system up here at the top we have a model 3 center display touchscreen this touchscreen is powered by the Model 3 infotainment computer in here, which controls Model 3 vehicle controllers. These vehicle controllers talk to these precision variable valves on this single piece manifold, which we designed to be easy to put together. This gives us three different ways to control what's happening in the patient. Pressure regulated volume control, pressure control, or volume control for the most amount of flexibility for the most acute patients out there. We also put in on the bottom a backup system. So with an O2 tank, our backup battery, and the air compressor, you get 20 to 40 minutes to move that patient where you need to to give them the care that they deserve. Now coming back up to the top, let's see what's happening on the UI. 
first of all, we've got a respiratory uh, simulator right here. It's basically simulating what a lung does. Um, it has a various amounts of compliance and is breathing. That breath is actually being plotted out up here. We have three plots for pressure, flow, and volume. And you can see the line moving across as the lung is breathing. Now, if something happens to the lung and constricts it, you can see the pressure waveforms change overlaid on the history of the previous 12 seconds. That's important so a doctor can see if they're improving or something's going wrong. There's still a lot of work to do, but we're giving it our best effort to make sure we can help some people out there. So there you go, folks. Immaterial of what the naysayers may harp about. It is absolutely amazing for a car company and a nascent car company at that making this extraordinary effort to create this. I hope and pray that this goes into a production ramp up very soon. Now those words, production ramp up, they have a very profound meaning in these times. This is Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.